Is it socially acceptable for me, 28M, to go to a Build-A-Bear alone? It's all in your head. You could be buying a bear for anyone. Could always go in with a birthday card in your hand. It's really none of their business why you're even in there. You could always make a scene and scream it's for my wife who had surgery, but no one is going to say anything to you. If people notice or care at all, they would probably assume you were making it for someone else. That sounds incredibly sweet. Go. Build your bear. Tell the staff person assisting you about your wife and surgery. Maybe they will help you pick cute Dr. Bear accessories or make sure a bear dressed as a character she likes is perfectly accessorized or something. I love the comments on here, so sweet, makes me feel better about going outside. Whenever I catch myself being anxious about how others view me I try to calm myself with, wait, do I care about these people? Do I even know them? Do I really care what they think of me? I'll probably never see them again and they probably won't think about me afterwards often it works even just a little. What on earth is going on in the world if an adult can't go to a toy shop? As someone with two kids, I need to buy them things. Buy two, one for her, one for you. You're overthinking it. Go and get yourself and your wife some Build-A-Bears. I think you're overthinking it being a problem but understand your concern. Approach one of the employees, explain you'd like to make a bear for your wife and you're clueless how to start, ask if they can help. In my experience they will walk you through the process and help you with the special options. Even if you don't need the help, having an employee assisting should act as a buffer for anyone else. Yeah it's acceptable. Some people will find it weird. But who cares? It's not like someone will call the cops and send you to jail or anything. And in the unlikely case someone does ask, just tell them you're making a bear for your wife. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it and anyone here saying that there is, is dead wrong. Go build your wife a bear. Just walk up to an employee, and say, loud enough to carry through the store, hi. My wife is going to be having surgery this week, and I'd like to get her a bear for her recovery. Might even elicit a few AS. Adults buy plushies for various reasons, for their kids, presnets for others, sick people, etc. I don't think anyone would mind, the person that thinks the most about you is always yourself. Most random people don't care. I'm sure people will assume it's a gift for someone. If the social discomfort bothers you, you could always walk in with a get well soon balloon or something, then people will really know it's for someone else. Go for it bro. It's a gift for your wife. A sweet gift at that. Some people might give you a side eye or whatever, but that is their problem. Literally everyone is going to assume you are buying a gift bro. Sure some people might give you weird looks for it but something that is trans people. We learn quickly that most people will be too busy doing their own thing to notice. And as for the staff there, their job is to help, not to judge. If anyone gives you grief about it, you can claim it's for your nephew. It's easy, unverifiable, doesn't require a wedding ring, and doesn't invite further conversation the way mentioning your own kids does. Honestly, I don't think anyone would care. But even if they did, who cares? Hope your wife recovers soon BTW. I mean I'm a big dude in the same age. I don't think most here understand the trouble this could lead to and I understand the hesitation. I'd go in and explain to a staff member what you're doing. If there's a staff member taking you through it I think you'll not have any problems making your Intentions known is the best way to avoid problems I find. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.